What's going on guys, it's your boy Big Hero Chris back at you with another one. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, give me a thumbs up, Excellent. ring the notification bell, hit me up on Twitter, TikTok, the community posts, all those cool things. And it's Friday, it's Smackdown night, it's Bloodline night, I got the Bloodline t-shirt, I match the Bloodline chair, I'm throwing up my Bloodline once, and it's already, <laughs> it's crazy man. So, um, tonight's the big night, Roman Reigns returns to Smackdown. And Cody Rose is gonna, is gonna be on SmackDown as well to call out the Tribal Chief. They're gonna have their first ever face to face Tribal Chief, American Nightmare going face to face. Also, you have the whole situation between Jay and the Bloodline as well as Sami Zayn. So how is all that gonna tie in? I'm not gonna waste your time, guys. Let's just get into this video. Let's just get into this reaction. Let's go. So, so Roman Reigns came out first. He did the whole acknowledgement thing, and then Cody Rose interrupted. So here we are now. Cody Rose going face to face with the bloodline. Contrary to what Mr. Heyman might have told you. I am not here to invade. I am not here to engage in reckless negotiations. I'm here to have a conversation with my WrestleMania opponent, one-on-one, -on -one, man to man. So I don't see any reason for your compatriots here. Unless Unless you feel that you need them here. Cody throwing around a whole bunch of big words. I have no choice but to take it as disrespect. Oh, so low. Wise man, leave us. So are those two. Also, Solo has his own t-shirt. Good for him. He's <laughs> sharing <laughs> the leaving. That's crazy. One-on-one, -on -one, face to face, man to man. Does that make you more comfortable? Matter of fact, let's get comfortable. You might not like this, but I'm going to do it anyways. So what do you want to talk about? Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. That, that's Cody's thing. That's Cody's thing. He did the thing that Cody does it. The Roman did it. Fair enough. Let's let's talk about you. Nine hundred and fifteen days you have been our WWE. Undisputed. Universal Champion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No need to print the legend. The reality has become legendary enough. You have superseded hyperbole. Congratulations. Let me... Let me tell you something about me. About your WrestleMania opponent. Something you, you may know, you may not know. For some, you have become this impossible mountain to climb, but that's kind of my thing. 
Really, if you think about it, he can't be any more than Randy's understudy. There's no way that Cody will survive Stardust. Goalpost moved again. There's no way that 10,000 people would pay to see me and my buddy's little indie show. Ooh. And ever since then. Okay, okay. The goalposts Cook. have continuously moved, and I continuously punch it through the uprights. So for everybody else, Roman Reigns might be impossible. Just not for me. Oh, Cody co co cooking a little bit. Cody co cooking a little bit. Roman doing the little face thing he does when you start, you know what I'm saying? Looking like it. Looking like, looking like he's having a stroke. Listen to the people. Listen to them. <laughs> hey, he's good. You know what I mean? That that was good. That's like you've been uh, rehearsing that all week or something. That, that was flawless. It was <laughs> Knowing like, Cody, he probably has. <laughs> but, uh, let me uh, switch gears here. Uh, let me ask you a question. You ever won that one? Mm -mm. <laughs> He's like, what? We know that, that was a... Have you ever even competed for one of these? <laughs> Hold on, da, da, da. Have you ever been in the main event of WrestleMania before? Because I'm pretty sure I done did all of that. So that means I'm the most experienced main event of all time. But here's the kicker. I've been groomed since I was just a little boy. Not only by my father, mm -mm. but by your father too. Oh, Lord. <laughs> not look happy about that. No, 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 no. I'm not done with my story. There, there's more. Let's talk about your dad, huh? I, uh, easy. I have too much love and respect for that man to degrade him. He's done way too much for me. We, we spent a lot of time together. I said this many times before in interviews. The dream is the one that put the confidence in me. He's the first one that told me I had hit. He's, this, I, let me let me try to do a dream real quick. Goes, Baby, <laughs> you have it. You couldn't get rid of it. You couldn't sell it if you wanted to. You are it. That was actually pretty good. That, that was actually really good. I can't we lie to you. We would talk for hours and we would talk about everything. Literally everything. A lot of act. To be honest, it was a lot about, like, right now, what's going on in my life. He used to tell me about these main events, about being the guy, being the face of the company, main eventing WrestleMania. He, he called it all before. My God. He was the best. He really was. Hey. You want to know what he used to always say about you? said anything ever about you at least not when i was with him i don't know about the uh, maybe when seth was in there or kevin owens or becky maybe he talked about you all the time but when i was in there it was like you did not exist <laughs> and i know this is a lot but god i wish he was here right now damn roman is cold man <laughs> i know you miss him I miss him too.
And I know he's not here anymore. But just know this. If there's anything that he didn't teach you, I will. <laughs> Roman is evil. <laughs> that is a cold Samoan right there. I'm here to tell you. <laughs> playing on the same field this 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 is this is not chess you didn't you didn't send mr Heyman to raw to get inside my head you you sent him to relay and convey the real life situation you sent him to tell me the truth If, 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 that, if that's the truth, then the truth is one of, one of the fabled Dusty's kids is better than Dusty's actual kid. If that's the truth, then the truth is you are the son that he always wanted. And that changes absolutely everything because it's not just a dream it's not just an urge or a want or a desire or some story that needs to be finished this becomes a necessity you say i don't exist i have to exist and the only way that i can exist is by beating you at wrestlemania <laughs> So absolutely, Roman Reigns, Sir Champ, may the better man win. An explosive, emotional mm. blockbuster of a confrontation here tonight. Damn right. Friday Night Smackdown. Cody Rhodes making it clear. It has become a necessity to beat Roman Reigns <laughs> in four Roman. at WrestleMania. Mm, mm, mm. The question is, Wade, can Cody Rhodes get it done? Mm, 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 so there you have it, the first ever face-to-face -face confrontation between Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes. Now, as we can see, there's a little bit of mind games going on. Roman Reigns throwing out the fact that Dusty, the father of Cody, spent a lot of time with Roman. And this is actually true. I actually have heard Roman speak about this in interviews about how Dusty used to put that confidence in Roman and about how Roman would say stuff like, oh, he was a walking billion dollar check and people would kind of laugh it off. But Dusty was always the one that was like, yeah, 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 you're right. And pretty much preparing him for moments like this, moments like WrestleMania, moments like becoming undisputed champion. So you could see it all over Cody's face. Like, yeah, this is a little, this is irritating me a little bit. But I know that's something that's gonna irritate Roman more. And that's beating him at WrestleMania, ending his three year streak of not being pinned, taking away the fact that he will be, oh, be, um, Undisputed champion, well, well, at least um, universal champion for over 900 days, undisputed champion for a year at that point. Hey, I don't know about y'all, but I am invested in this match. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait for WrestleMania main event. You know, there's people that are saying that oh, maybe, maybe Cody might not win, maybe Roman might retain. I don't know. I mean, we still have a few weeks to, you know, let this marinate and let it simmer in our spirits as to who's going to win and who's not. And I'll make my predictions when we get to that point. But with that being said, what did you guys think of this segment? Are you excited to see Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania? Let me know in the comment section below. Of course, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. You guys take care. Peace. I'm out. Peace.